Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonFoto.com and hopefully that little video at the beginning has whetted your appetite for the SJ Cam um, SJ4000 Wi-Fi uh, action camera, video camera, GoPro cheap alternative. Basically, if you're in the market for an action camera, um, <laughs> if you're like me, uh, uh, a middle-aged photographer <laughs> who wants to add a video camera to his arsenal so that I can kind of take shots while I'm out, you know, video while I'm out and about, sort of third person video to make, make my videos more interesting. Or you want an action camera for skiing and water canoeing and uh, mountain biking and all that sort of stuff then. But you haven't got the budget for GoPro or don't want to spend the price on GoPro, the SJ Cam. Um, could be the one for you. Um, basically, it can shoot in uh, 1080p, uh, 30 frames a second. Um, it can do 720 as well. Um, it can take stills, and it can be had for well under um, 100 pounds, including the Wi-Fi version. The Wi-Fi version here um, basically works with your phone, um, so you can uh, look look compose on your phone. Um, but I tell you what, let, let's get out of the box so you can see what it comes with because one of the great advantages of something like the SJ4000 Wi-Fi is the sheer number of mounts and accessories that it comes with. And I'm also going to show you a few more accessories that I've already, that I got as well that can kind of enhance the, uh, the experience of using the camera. So uh, let's open it up. Okay, so first up, you've got the camera itself. It's in its little waterproof case um, right now. Dead easy to get at. Now, although the case isn't compatible with um, uh, GoPro stuff, the mount on the bottom is. So all GoPro accessories will actually fit. So if we just open that up there, you can see there how absolutely tiny the camera is. And um, let's just quickly turn it on has a little rechargeable battery inside and there you can see the screen on the back as well um, to get a screen on the back, in fact I don't think it's only really the GoPro 4 Silver that comes with the screen on the back, it's not touch screen um, but it really does help you compose your shots same huge fisheye wide angle lens on the front 
and so let's just turn that off so we've got a camera there and then let's have a look at the goodies that we get with it obviously we've got a waterproof case and then the particular um, package that I got from uh, eBay also included an extra battery um, there's a battery charger now this little accessory is excellent this is a frame case so what you can do with this you can actually put the camera into it like so and that means you can use it on, on you know on a tripod because you've got a tripod mount on the top and on the bottom um, it's much smaller than when it's in the waterproof case um, the microphone isn't quite as covered so the audio quality will be better um, and it's just you know you can wear that on a clip and all sorts of stuff so if I just I'll, if I, I tell you what I'll leave the camera in that particular one we get some um, straps that we can use to tie the camera onto lots of different things there's another charger Put that out of the way uh, micro USB for charging it up and transferring our files and you get lots and lots of these which are little adapters for fixing onto uh, fixing onto the case whether it be um, the um, the waterproof case or with a, another type of adapter onto onto the uh, the frame case and this is kind of the the heart of the system and if you can kind of see like on the this is my um, Gorilla Pod type tripod, and you can see I've already fitted one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, adapters that comes with the camera onto the top of my uh, my Gorilla Pod. So what that means is I can just undo that particular bit there. That just comes off like so. Just close the case up. Obviously, with the camera inside, that would then go in there. That just screws into there, and then you can tighten that up, and then we've got the camera on a uh, on a gorilla pod, and then you can do the same thing with this thing. For example, this is a monopod, so instead of having to pay uh, the overinflated inflated prices for a GoPro Go pod, again, all I've done is I've put one of the supplied tripod mounts on top of this. Um, monopod which can extend and I can adjust do that and I can put it at all different funky angles and that, that is really really useful it means that out of the box you're going to be able to use this camera almost straight away there's another bracket that's a bike bracket or it's a bracket that basically enables you to mount the camera on any sort of tube as you can see you just tighten the bits up that's great there um, We've got a tripod bracket there, so there's a tripod mount there. So imagine that would then click onto the bottom of there. Now let's just grab out these things here. So these clips are very useful. So these clips you use in conjunction with the frame mount. Sorry, with the um, that's the back of the frame mount. That's a clip for using on the frame mount there. See that? So what you can then do with that. That can then clip into there, and then you've got you could carry the camera on a clip, so you could clip it to something, clip it to yourself, whatever you want to do. Pinged off, and then we've also got that there. Uh, does that go in there? No, that doesn't go in there. <laughs> Until I'm new with this. There we go. Here's our other brackets. This is what we we're looking for. So these little brackets here, these have got self-adhesive on the bottom. So again, you could stick these onto, you know, a helmet. There's a there's a flat one, which is that one, and then there's a curved one, which is that one. So you could stick them to a helmet. That would then enable you to slide one of these brackets into it, like so. And once you've got that fitting there, that enables you to then put that into there, and then that would uh, that would clip on like so. And there's a couple of different types. There's one that raises up. And you've got all these little these little. There we go. There's another clip as well. That's the curved one. It's all these little brackets that make a big difference because they turn the camera through 
perfect 90 degrees um, or just extend it a little bit for example this is an extra suction cup that I bought and what I do with this one is I put the bracket on that turns the camera through 90 degrees and that gives it a better orientation for displaying stuff what else have we got? We've got loads of brackets another bracket there that's a spare back door in case the seals get worn on the other one we've got a basic instruction manual some clips some cable tie to tie on a metal I guess cable just a emergency breakaway cable and some more sticky pads so that's basically what you get in the box so what we'll do next is we'll just have a quick look we'll just quickly turn the camera on and I'll show you kind of how it works uh, with the Wi-Fi okay so let's have a quick look at the camera I mean for the first thing I would say is you know you don't have to use the SJ4000 Wi-Fi on Wi-Fi you can just use it as a standalone unit very very simple press and hold that button and it will turn on and it's good to go and uh, very simple user interface when it first turns on you can just start recording um, 1080p 30fps uh, video just by pressing the OK button on the top or if you press the mode button on the front you can cycle through to doing stills then you can cycle through to um, looking at what you've done and then you can get into the menu and then to sort of navigate around there's an up and a down button on the side as well so dead easy to do um, and then just press the mode button again to get back into into capture mode the screen is very small but it's enough to give you a basic composition when you're doing stuff um, as far as picture quality goes, you've got a good idea from that video, uh, that sort of montage clip I did at the beginning of this particular video. Uh, video quality seems great, it tends to be a bit blue, um, hence after the first initial video clips I did, um, what I did was I set the white balance on the, um, on the SJ4000 to cloudy, so that would have added uh, quite a lot of warmth to the, to the scenes, and I think that shows in the, in the later clips as well. Uh, I did use the Wi-Fi a few times to control the camera, but I think you're probably better off using the Wi-Fi just to compose your shot, then, so then going back to normal, because if you do lose your Wi-Fi connection, it can mean the video stops recording, which is a bit of a problem if the camera is somewhere inaccessible, like on the top of your car, um, and you just really wanted to carry on. But you know, if you wanted to uh, go for Wi-Fi, all you need to do is you press this button on the right hand side there, that, you probably see that that turns the Wi-Fi on. What I can do now is I just turn my phone on, and then I need to go into the settings for the Wi-Fi, and basically connect to the uh, camera, and then just flash up the SJ Cam app. Just select the camera, connect to that, and then what you should see, if I turn my phone around so you can see it a bit better, and let's pop, and you should see that. Now what you probably noticed already is that the picture is upside down that's because one of the settings you can change on the camera is to, to reverse it obviously for when you're hanging the camera down so what I'm going to do I'm going, I'm going to go into the settings on my phone and this is where it's very easy to do as well you can just go through the settings and I can click on rotate turn that off go back to shooting and now everything is kind of the right way up, sort of. <laughs> but there we go. How cool is that? I'm controlling the camera wirelessly. And then if I want to take a shot, I can just press the record button and it'll start doing video. If I want to take a still, press the camera button. It's now in stills mode. And press the button and it'll take a picture. Everything's been recorded to the camera itself. And then go back to movie mode and then we could we could tell it to do stuff. Now you can transfer the files from your SJ4000 to your phone to view them. It's quite slow though over Wi-Fi. I wouldn't always recommend that. I'd say plug it in, take the card out and plug it into your laptop or your computer or use the uh, supplied uh, USB lead. But there we go, that's my basic um, 
unboxing and sample footage use of the SJ4000 uh, Wi-Fi action camera GoPro alternative. Um, one thing I would say is that um, they are so cheap, and if you're thinking about getting one, you know, just go out and get one. Um, the quality is very, very good indeed. And what I'll do is after this video. I'll, well now, straight away after uh, I've finished talking, I'll put some longer clips on so you can get a better idea of the possible quality you could get out of the camera. Just remember of course that YouTube will be compressing the video quite considerably as well, so the quality you actually get is better than what you'll actually see, but I guess if you're sharing the videos on YouTube and, and the like, um, this is what you can expect. That's enough from me, my name's Rob from RobNongPhoto.com and this is the SJ Cam SJ4000. Wi-Fi action camera. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.